All right, so you'll also notice when you're using MyML that uh, where in the past you may have had uh, the problem of uh, not being able to model um, and have both sides mirror is um, um, largely uh, fixed with, um, with a lot of the tools. So let's just select this and I'll demo this one here. Um, if I'm going to add a couple of um, I'm add a couple of uh, edge loops here, so I'll go insert edge loop, and I'm just going to add a couple of edge loops here. Now, right now I don't have. Let's see. If I wanted to um, target weld, so I'm going to click on target weld. If I wanted to target weld a few things. You'll see that it's not mirroring at all. So what I'm going to do. So if I like, for instance, even when I'm highlighting this over here. Uh, let's see if you can if I turn off this, turn on the uh, default material. See how it's highlighting over here on the right, but it's not on the right, on the left. So what I would do is I would, um, let's see here, I'm going to turn on um, symmetry. Right now it says off, so I'm going to say object X. So now, of course, these, this is just highlighting and it's always worked this way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to target weld, and when I click and drag here, you can see that it target welds on both sides. So that's pretty phenomenal there. That's, that's going to help out a lot. You're not going to have to go back and um, do it on one side and then do it on the next side. It's going to be um, doing you know, a lot of the work for you. So that's great. All right, so I'm just going to undo that. And now I'm going to, let's see here, let's do another one. Another one might be um, the, the bevel tool. So and you might want to, let's see, when you click on the bevel tool, let's see, oh, I see, let's see here. Let's go to, um, let's go to faces, and let's go to bevel, oops, let's go to bevel face, and let's see here. Oh, it's still in target weld, that's why. All right, so let's, let's go with um, extrude real quick. Okay, so now we've got um, too many faces selected. So let's go back to this one, and let's go to extrude. Oops, extrude face, and so there you go. And what you'll also notice when we do this is that I hit the G key to pop me back into this tool again. You also notice that you have this what's called a uh, a little um, in view editor here. So you can adjust its thickness here in the in view editor. You can um, adjust the local translate that. You can you can do the offset. Um, let's see, yes, yeah, so you can do a little offset there. You can change the number of divisions, and you can keep faces together on or off. So let's try, let's try that. I'm going to undo this, and I'm just going to say, let's take a couple of faces, and then we'll do the G key again. And this is great, because let's, let's make the thickness a little bit more, and you can see that the faces off or faces, uh, faces on or faces off. And so that's great, because you can just turn that off and on. And um, I'm starting to question my... Let's see here. Extrude face, and let's to give it a thickness. Okay, so that's. Oop, I got some on the bottom. That's okay. Now I'll just start turning it off and on, and you can see that that's, that actually respects it there. So, all right. That's great, and uh, that's that's um, that's it working, but without being um, without it having symmetry on. So let's try turning symmetry off. I'm just going to go to um, face again. Let's see. Turn on symmetry. And now it's symmetry, it looks like it's on, okay. And, uh, and, and then the extrude is supposed to work with uh, symmetry on, so there's that. All right, so one thing that I wanted to show you about this is if I click on this and I go back to extruding, so let's just go to extruding, is that, that one thing I didn't show you here was that, you, well, of course, you can make this bigger and smaller like that, pretty easy. But there's also a little flyout window here, and so you can add lots of... Um, different attributes if you'd like. So you can do a smooth angle, angle, taper, twist, and you can add that all right in here. And so let's say add a twist. So I click on twist and it's added here, great. And uh, let's add some thickness and add some twist, probably need some division in order for the twist to work. Um, but anyways, that's what's there. And then you can just turn it off there like that. And so twist goes away. Okay, great. Okay, so now let's see, I'm just going to go back here. And uh, if you select, like let's say we select this edge ring here, if I want to, um, say, scale it, 
I can um, scale it this way, but I can also just move it from its normal by holding down shift and middle mouse clicking. So that's that's an interesting way of doing it if you if you can get that to work. Um, so I'm holding down, I've got all these here, and I'm middle mouse clicking there. So um, it's a good way to model. Oh, of course, that's probably because symmetry is on. So let's turn that off and see if that helps. Okay, and all right. So that's that's uh, the. All right, so that's that's moving the. Um, let's try moving one, in. Okay. All right, so that's that's because I have the surface on. So forgive me if I turn on this this transform constraint off, then I should be able to move something in its uh, in its normal. So let's go to move and change this to like normal or for. Um, let's see. Well, we could actually just go to object and we could change its pivot and let's see if I can use about uh, right. So let's go here and now I can move it out like that so I'll turn off that and now I can move it and there we go. Okay. Cool. You'll see that uh, if you look in your marking menus, you'll see like let's hold down shift and go down here. You'll see that the bonus tools are now um, working in the marking menus there. So that's good. And uh, that's pretty exciting. And there's a lot of the tools that are working with the symmetry. And let's look at um, let's look at the multi-cut really quick because there's a there's a it's pretty there's a little bit of a new um, new way of cutting. So let's go over to our multi-cut and you'll see that, of course, if you hold down the shift, you can go to percentages and the screen's going black because um, I don't think my Mac is that old, but you know, there's a graphics card issue obviously there. So if I click here and here, it cuts straight down. Um, but the idea is, is that if you click and then you hold down control and shift, you'll see that it actually does a right angle. And so if I click here, or rather, I'll hit return and undo real quick. If I if I um, find where I want to start from, and then I hold um, Control and Shift, you'll see that there's this little little square there. And then if I get down to another line, it actually shows you, okay, these are going to be right angles to each other. So that's pretty helpful when you're trying to model and uh, use the multi-cut tool. So there are a lot of um, improvements and a lot of things, obviously, to get used to, um, a lot of great quick keys and whatnot. Um, the, um, the, way the, uh, the way the sculpting works, is that you have to you basically go into sculpting mode. So, <clears throat> so it's kind of like the modeling toolkit used to be, um, but the but, but now the modeling toolkit doesn't need to be turned on anymore. So that's about it for what I have to share today. Um, I hope that was helpful, and uh, let's see if there's any questions.